So now we will be reviewing Ebony Maw. So this was a figure that I really wanted in the initial wave. Um, I think, you know, it's nice that they kind of spread the line out a little bit to cover two movies. Um, it's interesting that we're getting what I call a lot of filler characters. So if you're a fan of Marvel Comics, to get characters like Nighthawk and Hercules and the Living Laser, it's it's awesome. However, I think it... Yeah, I think that should have been more of the Avengers way. But this all goes into with spoilers. And you know there's going to be lots of stuff that's going to come out uh, when this baby hits um, – when, when the movie hits uh, video uh, this fall. So I'm sure there will be probably – I wouldn't be surprised if there were two waves of figures. So Ebony Maw here who is uh, one of um, Thanos' gang or one of his children, one of his followers – I'm forgetting what the actual name of that little group is called. So if you could post it, I would greatly appreciate it. So here we go. We're doing the feet for some reason when we get to the Thanos characters. But here we go. Now, this is interesting. He's the villain, and we have an Avengers card behind him. Now, I know it does fall into the Infinity War packaging, but it seems a little strange to me, um, especially when you could have probably just put the glove for Thanos. So that would have been interesting. An interesting take. So, the Black Order. Thank you. He is part of the Black Order. So, it's another leg. So, he's slightly taller than I expected. Ooh, okay. So, smell test. Ooh, he's, he's strong. Now, I love the fact that they've got the rings here on his hand. Look at that. No, uh, no scar from the first movie. But, ooh, he is tall. All right, so we're going to do an instant – we'll do an instant pose here, which is I like to do. Look at that. Ooh, solid. That is an awesome figure. I love bad guys. Bad guys are always the figures that I love to have. I wish I had a Doctor Strange here. So let's compare him to the Mohawk. Look at the height difference here. So these figures are basically six inches, but I would give him almost seven and a half, if not seven. So it's it's really just wow. All right, let's compare him to Cap, who's I you know I believe is the same size. So there's your height difference between Cap and Ebony Maw. Look at that. He is really yep. He is really really tall. That is an awesome figure. So. Um, let's do some posability here. So his hands are really nice. I could use a little bit better on the head back here. I mean, he's got some hair, but it looks like it's a separate detached piece. Uh, the neck's turning really nice, but he's almost got like octopus arms. Now that we've got this extra joint so we can kind of control his hands in here. Um, only one set of hands, which he's kind of a magician, so you think you get a little bit more. But check this out. Look, you can pour this all the way over so like he's pulling – So that that does really well, yeah. So and let's see let's see what we have feet wise. So here we have this little part of the outfit, rubbery, not cloth, but it fits. And this is really like a they really put a lot of detail into this right here. So I'm really digging this. You can feel it. It's like little like a it's almost like a chainmail kind of feel to it. So here we go. Give him a bent knee. And we've got nice little joints here better than the star wars figures uh that we reviewed uh a day or two ago and there he is yeah i gotta say he's a he's an easy 10 out of 10 he's a really solid solid figure i mean this is a cool figure this is 10 inches i mean not 10 inches this is 10 out of 10 and he's at least seven to seven and a half inches tall so yep uh, that's Ebony Maw. I think he's a solid figure, and he does come with the left leg, right? Yeah, yeah, the left leg of Thanos. So we will compare Thanos to him when we get to him at the end. That's an awesome figure. So he's a beast. He's really a beast. So let's do some comparisons here. So let's straighten him out. He feels very much like the whole, like a big bulky figure, but his posability is awesome. So let's. Put him here, and let's do a side com side comparison to several of the figures that we have here. So Ebony Maul, we thought, was the biggest figure in the line. Look at that. Wow. 
So Thanos uh, eclipses Ebony Maul. So we're talking about almost about a nine inch figure here, eight, eight and a half, eight, nine inches. Um, I believe.